My dad uses the Bowflex bike and the Peloton app. He texted me yesterday and said, congratulations on your Peloton success so far. I sent back two of the emojis of the flexing arm. He said, you're supposed to use your legs, not your arms. I said, that explains why my pants don't fit. He said, nevertheless, congratulations. We're very proud of you. That's the kind of banter you get with me and my dad. Okay, put me back on Isaac here. <laughs> We're playing a little bit more Isaac. I know, I can't believe it either. You got boomed? My dad's a jokester. He also... He texted me, because he's at my... He's at his house. Like, my, my parents' house. Um, and my mom is here, just because he had to go back to work. And my mom is retired. So she stayed to help out with the baby a little longer. So he texted me in like all caps. Do you know where your mom is? And then like a second later, he texted back. Never mind. She's at the Airbnb. And when I opened my phone, I was like, no, she's not. She, we're out for a walk right now. <laughs> and then I said, I, I told him that. I said, she's with me. We're out for a walk right now. And he said, tell her she butt dialed me and I'm going to send. And he, this is, he did this on purpose. He said, tell her she butt dialed me and I'm going to send the cyborg police after her. And I said, okay, <laughs> will do. <laughs> That's some good text with my dad, man. No, oh, uh, demon judgment? You piece of crap. That's pretty sick, though. That's pretty sick. Robocop coming. Do, 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 do. You know a song is good when I can conjure it, because you know I can't remember any video game songs at all. Do 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 yeah, He is Robocop. He's a robot and a cop. He will shoot you in the dick. I remember. What a what a song. What a what a song. Jammies. I did see, dude, I don't know, like, don't take this the wrong way. That's a secret room. I was watching uh, Jerma stream a little bit. I had some time to watch Jerma stream. I think it was on Friday because he was playing Pac-Man 256. I love that game. I was a professional Pac-Man 256 player for a very small period of time. Um, I can't chat in Jerma's chat because people don't notice me. Like, they don't notice me fast enough. You know what I mean? Because chat moves so fast, everybody's, like, just telling jokes 24-7. It's just a torrent of, like, emotes and, like, this streamer is fucked, etc., etc. wonder if we could get this to pay out. I mean, I was just, I was disillusioned. Because I normally, I, I go into people's chats and then... I say like, hi, or I like, no. I mean, I I don't go there just to be recognized, but I show up in chat and I drop like a 10 out of 10 joke. And then I, uh, people go, oh my God, it's NL. And I go, HCJ guys. I spread some love to Justin's emote because it's one of the best on Twitch. And, uh, and then everybody's having fun, right? But in Jerma's chat, I, I was unnoticed because things were going so fast and it was very annoying to me because also I hold the tools to be insanely good at Pac-Man 256 because I did it. I've never lost a round of Pac-Man 256 at Champions of Fire. I swear to you, it's true. Hold on, this is going to work. It's going to open up. I don't know if I've ever lost Crossy Road either. But, you know, maybe it's happened. Yeah, I'm seeking attention. Why else would you be in Twitch chat if not for attention? Like, that's what it's there for. Don't lie to yourself. You really, you're typing like out of the goodness of your heart, this is going to make the streamer's day better? Come on. No, you're typing like maybe if I say, it's just different ways of being noticed. Some people are like, being nice is too much work, so I'm going to be toxic. Some people are like, you know, I think that I'll get value when they recognize how good I am at this game and all my backseating will be appreciated and so on and so forth, right? Everyone's here just to be noticed, I understand. Notice this, you piece, middle finger emoji. You can just do a colon middle underscore finger. It's not actually like a bad thing. Although apparently in Germany, I... 
it's illegal to give someone the finger? Is that true? Because I, I was telling a story once about how I've really started giving the finger a lot while I drive. And I know how that sounds, like, like oh, he's psychotic, but actually it feels amazing. The OMG a lot. OMG, why toxic? I don't do it just when people, like, slow me down. That would be insane. I do it when somebody, like, in particular, the, the most common situation I do it is when I have to turn left at an unprotected green light, and then the light turns yellow, and, like, 17 cars make it through on the yellow light, and then through on the red light while I'm trying to turn with, like, the last moment of safety. Uh, and then I give, like, the last four people that cheat the light the middle finger. Go ahead, what are you gonna do? Stop and turn around? And then, you know how embarrassed you would be five minutes later? So, hold on, I'm just propping myself down here. They're gonna be like, hey, hey, did you give me the finger? Hey, did you, did you raise one of your, uh, appendages in me? Did you raise a phalange in me? Yeah. Big whoop. Dude, you wanna, like, it, it's Canada. I'm not gonna die in a road rage incident. Probably, um, you know, at least not for like 15 years, the way things are going. Um, don't take my bone heart. It feels great. I would never honk because honking is completely self-serving. When you honk, you're actually making the driving environment worse, at least in a city, because nobody knows who you're honking at except the person who got honked at. So everybody else gets scared for a second, thinking like, oh, you piece of crap. Everyone else gets scared that they're the person that caused the honk when they actually didn't cause the honk. It's just to make the, the person who honked feel better. I take this, I roll this, I don't take this. Yeah, it's an AOE, exactly. The middle finger, on the other hand, is a skill shot. It's a targetable. You gotta be careful with it. I understand if you're a little nervous. You know, if you if you haven't been doing the finger that long, you might be like, uh, oh, I don't want it to accidentally like hit a teammate or something. Well, that's called friendly fire. I'm not gonna say it never happens, but... I also just innately refuse to give the middle finger any significance, I guess is... Like, I find it very humorous. I find it very funny. Like, you think I'm going to get offended by somebody doing the gesture to me? Absolutely not. I've gotten the finger, too. But the difference is I have some self-awareness. So when someone gives me the finger, rather than be mad, I'm usually like, I know, I know. I know, I'm sorry, I know. That's my mistake, sorry. But everybody I give the finger to, I'm like... This is ruining their day. Leech is pretty good, man. It's not psycho. What psycho is driving through the red light because you want to get to your destination faster? Not caring about anybody but yourself. That's what's really psycho, man. Telling the truth is psychotic now? Okay. Maybe that's how we got in this damn mess. That's pretty much all I got, though. Okay, watch this. A actually, the greatest bomb in Isaac history. Watch this. Actually, the worst bomb in Isaac history. But watch this. Unbelievable play. You know what I realized? I'm never going to be happy in Isaac. Because I have good damage and great killing power, and I just want more. Too much is never enough, just like Crazy Town said. They were absolutely right. Have you ever considered getting anger management? Uh, have they ever considered, like, driving better? I think, honestly, anger is not always a good emotion, obviously. Like, if you're getting angry over nothing and it's impacting your life, then that's bad. But when I give people the finger, like, later that day, I'm not like, oh, I succumbed to my base uh, instincts. I feel so bad. I'm like, 
I did the right thing. That those the assholes are protected by the veneer of civility. If you behave selfishly and the main reason you're able to get away with it is because nobody ever is like, you're an asshole because they don't want to be, you know, conceived as a, an angry person. We have an obligation to the, the genuinely nice people of the world to call assholes assholes so that the nice people of the world get um, to enjoy the veneer of civility and the assholes get called out. It's a simple trade. I don't want it. Marcus Aurelius sobbing. Even Marcus Aurelius would be like, I don't have that shit all figured out. That's a direct quote. Thank you. Canada is not necessarily a nice country. I've, I've said this many times before, and many people have said it. In Boston, people pretend to be mean, but they're actually friendly. And in Canada, people pretend to be friendly, but they're actually kind of mean. <laughs> At least they can be. It's polite! Yeah, polite most of the time. Not nice, necessarily. But then I also have to go to bat from, like, my own city. Because every once in a while, like, our Vancouver will get a post that's like, Hello, I'm visiting from Saskatchewan. Why doesn't anybody want to strike up a conversation with me on the SkyTrain? And I always just, I, I, I'd never reply because, you know, life's too short. But I'm always like, because they're busy idiot. I mean, nice person who's means well, but hasn't thought about, like, the fact that the world is not Forrest Gump for, like, two seconds. Like, other, other people, like, why would I rather talk to a stranger on the train who I don't know anything about than just, like, look at my phone and learn something that I'm actually interested in? It, it just doesn't make any sense. Now that was a play. Do it again. Make conversation? I don't want to make conversation. I just want to, I want to do whatever I want to do. Like, I don't want to talk to anybody who wants to talk to me first, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's not antisocial. It's this weird, like, Woody Guthrie idea of North America that some people have. That's like, every, you should be able to get on the train in Wichita and strike up a conversation with an oil baron from Arkansas. And then, wouldn't you know what? I met the most interesting fellow on the train from Oklahoma today. Th this shit does not happen. Let people, like, read a book or enjoy themselves. Like, I don't understand why there's this side. Like, I, it, we, we were talking about it because our daughter is like, you know, she's 20 months old and she's a little cautious and Kate was kind of lamenting her self-awareness. I was like, you know what? We've been like brainwashed to think that self-awareness is like a bad thing. Like, oh, I'm so, sorry, self-consciousness. Like, oh, I'm so self-conscious. That's why you always see me with at least one of my watches. But then I was thinking about it. It's actually like brainwashing. We, if anything, we could use a lot more self-conscious people out there in public. Every time I see someone doing some messed up shit in public that's annoying as hell or disruptive, it's because they have no self-consciousness. Like, they're like, I don't care about anybody but myself. Why are we trying to, like, uh, shame self-consciousness? Instead, we should be like, you should be more self-conscious. You should be conscious of the effect that you have on the world around you and how it might annoy other people. <laughs> but in North America, it's always dance like there's nobody watching. When it really should be like, you know, act like your mom's looking over your shoulder most of the time. Treat other people the same way you would want other people to treat your parents. Wake up, babe. New good NL take. He's doing it. I can't believe it. That's why I said most of the time, Chad. Of course, if you're Mormon off in the bathroom, like that's, that's between you and God. Like, honestly, anyone out here listen to Bluetooth speakers on public transit? If you type yes, I'm going to ban you. Unless you're a VIP. No, 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 no. That's what I like to see. Go ahead and say it. 
Give, give me your reason. That you ever see somebody on public transit that's listening to a Bluetooth speaker uh, and they have AirPods in? Shit happens all the time. It's crazy. Help, help. How often are you on public transit? I take the train. I'm a little bit like my favorite president, Joe Biden. I enjoy the train. Listen, Jack, I'm on the train. Joe Biden loves the train. I know, and that's why I love Joe Biden. He just loves the train, dude. It's in his Twitter bio and everything, I think. Let's go, I think. Wait, is this good? Yeah, we blow up rocks, we get spiders. I put my pants to have sex. Like, the only reason that someone would listen to a Bluetooth speaker is because on some level, they're like, my music taste is so good that everybody should be happy to hear it. Right? That's the only thing. That's the same, and a lot of people that were with me are gonna lose me on this one. But that's the same reason that I think people whistle as well. And it ties back into that Woody Guthrie idea of uh, America again. Like anytime someone's whistling, I'm like, you, I get it. You really think you're, you're absolutely crushing this version of Brick by Ben Folds 5. But like, I'm just out here trying to buy like some halloumi and not have my ears assaulted by like, you're out of tune, like. <whistles> but in a way, whistling is like almost worse because for some reason, culturally, we're supposed to believe that someone whistling should like brighten your day. Like, oh, come on, he's just whistling. What, you hate fun? He's making notes come out of his mouth. Leave Woody alone. Look, it's not Woody's fault. It's the misinterpretation of Woody. The miseducation of Woody Guthrie. Everybody's out here trying to... You know, uh, whistle in, play at their damn Bluetooth speakers, expecting to strike up strangers' uh, conversation with strangers on a train like it's a Poirot movie. I know people are whistling for me. They're whistling for themselves. And that's why I think we meet, we need more self-consciousness in society. I don't, well, mm, I don't really want it. You know what? Hold on. Let's see what we get here. If anything, I think the world would be better if more people were shy. I think shyness is like an individually disincentivized trait because the squeaky wheel gets the grease, but collectively is good for society. If more people were ashamed of themselves every day, I think it would be a lot more pleasant to be around in public. <laughs> You minus two, minus two. You don't even know like how right I am. I'm leaving. I'm out of here. No, I'm gonna go play this blood bank because it's gonna pay out. They hate him because he spoke the truth. Okay, that was not a good play. People may take you seriously. I'm being serious. Genuinely. I just think if the world was a little bit more shy, if the average person was like 10% more shy and aware of themselves, it would be a lot more pleasant to be in public. But I understand why I'm being hated for telling the truth. Because when you're shy, and I'm introvert, I wouldn't say I'm shy, but I'm introverted in the sense that like I would rather look at my phone than talk to somebody. But... That's considered like a fatal flaw. 
But my biggest concern is not like shaking when I talk to the grocery store cashier. It's like, oh, look at that guy over there who I'll never see again, who's behaving in a way that I find unacceptable and kind of annoying. So as you can see, that puts me in the morally high ground. I'm going to leave. I can't be trusted to backtrack and banter at the same time. Goodbye. I deserve that. See you later. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Imagine saying this while you're a streamer. Imagine saying that while you're a commenter. I saw I was like, laughing um, when that live stream fails clip popped off of me telling the guy who said uh, he doesn't like the word moist, or sorry, yeast, that there's adults out here talking with real problems. There were people, well, like a couple of psychotic individuals leaving comments like, imagine saying this while being a streamer. You would never know like what the real person uh, in, in Ohio goes through. You don't know what a blue collar HVAC technician from Ohio goes through. Well, I think I'm going through more shit than you because I don't have time to leave like psychotic context on out of context clips on live stream fails. I, don't, I hate to say this. I think I'm busier than you are. I guess busy doesn't necessarily mean stressful, but like when was the last time I had... Uh, 90 seconds to type something, you know, like insane about a stranger online. It's been a bit. Two of diamonds. I think we're going to get good pills here. I mean, good cards. You know what? Uh, Demon judgment. Let's go. And a regular judgment. Thoughts on people wearing AirPods while shopping? Okay, well, I mean, if we're going to go here, what's the problem? I, I don't mind seeing people wear headphones at all. You know, listen to a podcast while you shop. That's a classic. What's your problem? What could possibly be the issue? Hold on. Soul of Lazarus. Die and immediately revive at half a heart with some invincibility. What could go wrong? What? Well, I'm paying out the doubters. Some invincibility? What was the invincibility? Like a, a one one thousandth of a second? Every, every other item description in Isaac is like a point... 036 times your shot speed increase in luck. This one's like, I don't know, an indeterminate length of time. Okay, well, you know, we pay out the doubters on that one. I'm not even mad. That's just kind of funny. Anyway, move on. Invincibility doesn't mean free hearts to give away. You know what? That's actually true. Although, wait, no, it, yes, it does. Like, if you're invincible when you go up to a blood bank, you can play it. That's like the, the main use of the Alges rune. Help, help, help. Yeah, wait, you're totally wrong. Unless they changed it because it was too much fun. Move, please. Move, move, move. Morb, move. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> You know what? I've learned my lesson. Forget the D6. Take a spacebar item that actually does something for you. Live your life. Have a great time. We're going to be fine. Any way to check the item description mod that NL uses? It's called item description mod. It's, um, it's the most popular mod on Steam next to um, old soundtrack. I was I was like, am I going to say it? Am I going to say it? Yes, okay, I'm going to say it. At this, we were entering the Attitude Era. We've gone from like 70s stand-up comedy where the joke is like, you know, those bozos in Washington. We're in like 1995 comedy. I'm balding, but I've grown a ponytail. I wear a leather jacket. I smoke a cigarette on stage. And I don't do the comedy in front of a brick wall. It's like a steel industrial background. And I'm saying it. 
You know what really grinds my gears? Mm, fucking uh, driving. Sorry, and now I can wait for five seconds because we're waiting for um, the audience to sit down. They're standing and applauding. People are are dying because they agree with me so much. They're they're laughing so hard. They're passing out. They're they're pooping and peeing in the aisles. They've lost control of their bowels. I'm morbing? Okay. Look, leave, leave the jokes to me, okay? <clears throat> I'm morbing. I did, look, I recognize this is like eating while the eating is good. Um, the Morbius meme is already cringe, which is fine. I'm participating in it to get some cheap laughs because it's just easier than telling original jokes. But I did love the edited Morbius clip where Jared Leto starts to morb. Uh... And then it has the edited audience in front of it, like it's a reaction from the movie theater. And the audience like stands up and goes like, yes! It's so good. And then, uh... Venom says, it's time to come. That's a great, uh... That's a great clip, man. What do you mean, edited, it's real? What do you mean, it's real? Come on. Don't lie to me. It's real? There's no way there was a packed theater for Morbius when it was, it, when it was in theaters. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I'm not taking Diplo. I'm happy with Tammy's head. No lie, when I went, it was pretty full. Come on, man. No, oh, anyway. I love seeing the people who, like, uh, okay, well. Um, I don't know if this means you have to spend more time online or less time online. But the people who reply to the Morbius memes and are like, I'm seeing a lot of talk about this movie. Is it like actually good or what? And you're like, you got to learn how to like read media. I know it's a muscle that you train. So like, I'm not trying to be mad at you, but also that's scary that you are like looking at this, all this stuff about Morbius and you're like, wow, people are really genuinely excited for this movie. That... You should not be allowed to read uh, the news. Well, okay, you can read it, but you shouldn't be allowed to leave comments. You should you should have to take like a an aptitude test before you leave a comment. I was pogging in the theater. No, you weren't. You probably pirated that shit at home. I bet you didn't even crack a smile, and the whole time you were typing on Discord, like, wow, this is so much fun, lol, he's morbing. But if I looked at your actual face, it, like, the FBI agent who was looking through your webcam probably just saw this the whole time. Dude, Morbius, he morbed! I am typing right now. Holy shit, he just morbs. Lol, I'm laughing so hard right now. Lol, I put my pants, I had sex. Lol. Okay, sorry, sorry. Too real, too real. Stare, he's morbin. What is stare anyway? Is that, is stare and, uh, stare and weird champ are the same thing? Is stare monka s weird champ? Like, it's, it's... Monka S, but he's weird champing. It's Pepe looking at you. Okay, or... In other words, it's... Monka S, weird champing. Am I right? Am I wrong? I think I'm right. Look at Lion Stare on your own Discord. This one, today's episode goes out to the Discord mods. Doing a great job. Keep it up. Love seeing the new stickers. There's a new Morbius sticker there as well. 
Why didn't you look at Satan's Gambit? What year is it, man? Satan's Gambit? Satan's Alley. Starring seven-time Oscar nominee Kirk Lazarus and MTV Best Kiss Award winner Tobey Maguire. Great movie. Great movie. <clears throat> Have you watched everything, everywhere, all at once yet? No, um, it's on the list, though. I got a lot of stuff to see. Casablanca, Morbius, um, everything, everywhere, all at once. The Northman. Everyone's like, I know. Dude, Zoomers, I'm so sorry for this, okay? But I gotta say it. You're so annoying. <laughs> I get it. If this is the first time there's been a good original movie that's ever been released in theaters in your lifetime. I understand, okay? Because, like, it's the same thing is like, oh, when I was, like, 16 and Garden State came out. I was like, I gotta go to Ottawa to see Garden State. I gotta tell everyone I know that Garden State is great. Everyone knows now. It's open information on the internet, okay? I understand that, like, in, in a world where we hold so little power to be able to influence somebody to go see a movie in the theater so that possibly, like, the Daniels brothers get to make, a, you know, whatever they want to make next is great. But I got other shit. I got other irons in the fire right now, okay? I know the movie's good. I'm going to go see it. Uh, well, no, I'm not. I'm going to wait till it comes out on video on demand, and then I'm going to watch it, okay? But, like, when people are, like, they're not brothers. Sorry, I had them confused with the Duplasses. That's my mistake. <laughs> But uh, I, I will see it when it comes to video on demand at some point. Probably not urgently. But it's not because I think that the, you, they treat it as like a passive uh, like malevolence to have not seen the movie by now. I just got other stuff on the go, man. I got, I got other priorities. Like I didn't watch the new Matrix yet. That shit came out in December. I held strong, okay? It, w it didn't... Um, it didn't come to Crave, which is like our version of, I don't know, Hulu immediately. And we don't have HBO Max. Instead, they wanted to charge me 25 bucks to rent it. I said, honestly, go F yourself. So then, now it's on Crave, I'm going to watch that shit because it's free. Well, I mean, I pay for it already, I should say. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't have to pay extra to watch The Matrix. Unlike you. So when that exact same thing happens to... Uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. Or if it becomes like a $6 rental, I'm all in. It would be, it would rise to like the top of my list, genuinely. Hey, Polyhex. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. But like, I, I feel like the, the the vibe of the discourse surrounding every everything, everywhere, all at once has been like, if you have not seen it in theaters yet, you're either unaware of the fact that uh, IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes exists, or alternatively, you hate Michelle Yeoh, which um, canceled because like, she's a queen. So, I just want to push back on that a little bit. It's mostly because, you know, I've just been like doing the dishes a lot lately and going to the damn park, you know? I've been, I've been, like, being a good dad instead of cultivating, like, keynote takes to impress all my friends on Letterboxd, okay? Just, just, let me, oh, I thought I had the D6. Just let me chill for a minute, okay? I'm, I'm doing my best here. I got a lot of, I got a lot of plates split, spinning at the same time. You could just sneak your dirty dishes into the theater? Bro, I'm not gonna wash my dishes in the, in the bathroom sink at the movie theater. Although that is very funny. Imagine you just had a garbage bag full of dirty dishes. Mm, one ticket for everything, everywhere, all at once, please. Clang, 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 clang. And then you, at the end of the movie, you just threw them all in the movie theater garbage can. All right. Two buckets of water. Get a bucket and a mop. Just leave them under the seats. That's like a jackass bit. Dude, I love jackass. I, I know I talked about it already, but like... I really use it as like a bit of a litmus test. If you can't 
If you can watch Jackass, but you don't enjoy yourself, that's fine by me. You know, it, it, it takes different strokes to move the world. But if you have, like, a moral problem with adult men putting a funnel up their anus consensually and then pouring a bottle of hot sauce into it, just grow up. It's not that serious. So true. <laughs> you don't like jackass? Grow up, dude. It's just funny. Like, whenever people ask for, like, an explanation for jackass, I always just laugh. Like, what do you... I just don't get it. So what, they, like, hurt themselves? Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> if you don't find it funny, that's fine. But, like, it's so weird to, like, search for the... Uh, like, the secret. Like, am I missing something? Is there, like, a deeper layer? When Steve-O uh, fills up a condom with the septic tank from his RV and has someone drop it on his head repeatedly and it explodes and puts his own shit in his nostrils over and over and absolutely coats him head to toe in urine, is there, like, a deeper thing that I'm missing? Just shut up and, like, just watch it or don't. It's okay. I was, I'm, I'm putting Corey on blast, basically. Corey watched it and he said, I liked it. I just didn't remember that there was so much male genitalia in the earlier movies. What are you talking about, man? First off, you might be right there. But secondly, who cares? It's like, you know, well, when that dude, when I saw Johnny Knoxville get a, a concussion and then get right back up and get hit by the bull again, that was pretty cool. But I don't know, there's just a lot of dick stuff in the new one. Whatever, dude, they should be doing every stunt naked as far as I'm concerned. Like, let's just crank it up a little bit. I don't think he was offended. I think it was just, he remarked upon it. Plus two? I'm so based today. It's crazy. You know why I'm based? Because I spent the entire weekend, like, in the real world instead of on the internet. I've become more attuned to, like, what the everyman thinks. I touched grass. Reach out and touch grass. Your own personal streamer. Someone to listen to. Someone who poos. He reached out and touched the grass. Rip Andy Fletcher. That's true. That's true. Today's episode actually. Sorry, Discord mods. Today's episode is dedicated to Andy Fletcher and the surviving members of Depeche Mode. You'll get your day in the sun, Discord mods. I can't dodge this. Are you crazy? And I can't go to Yemen. I'm an analyst. I stand by my tweet, by the way, that said the park is goaded. You know what I realized when I was at the park? We're complicating life, you know? Trying to make everything... Like, what's the secret to being happy? I don't know. I don't know what the secret to being happy is, like, you know, long term. Or uh, on, a, on a lifelong time scale. But after I took my daughter to the park for, like, two hours. And she got so much joy just from being on the swings. I was pretty happy. So I guess what I'm saying is if you're unhappy in life, you should have a child. Just have a kid. It'll sort you right out. Or it'll, like, fuck up your life. Like, if you can't handle it, it's going to fuck up your life, like, forever. Like, like, for at least two decades. But if you can handle it, you know what it is? It's the old tale of the bunny stealing uh, dinner out of the mailbox. Help me. You know the one where, like, uh, the guy, like, a cow is born? And then the guy, like, holds the cow, and he picks it up every day. And as the cow gets stronger and stronger, so does the guy, by necessity. That's kind of what, like, parenthood is like, I think. It's like when you have a baby, they're really light, but then like your arms and your back get stronger over time to pick them up because they're also growing at the same time. Okay, but the rabbit in the mailbox? 
It's not a senior moment. You just haven't seen Survivor. It's kind of a senior moment for you, really, that you you haven't seen the most popular show on network television. What are you watching, Matlock? <laughs> you watching like Magnum PI? Oh, minus two. Boomer show. Minus two. Okay, if it was about My Hero Academia, you'd be like pissing and coming right now. Get over it. It's called Taste, sweetheart. Everybody's got one. Opinions are like bleach buttholes. Every member of the Beach Boys aspires to have one. But some of them shouldn't have opinions, that is. Um, you see this stuff Mike Love's been saying? You see this stuff Brian Wilson's been saying about movies? He said Norbit was his favorite movie of all time. And he didn't call it a movie, he called it a picture. That's how you know he was serious. Did you just say that Mike Love of the Beach Boys shouldn't have an anus? I didn't say that. I said he aspires to have a bleached version of what he already has. <laughs> and, you know, is that a bizarre thing to say? Yeah, but... Much like uh, Lee Daniels' Everything Everywhere All at Once, I'm a little bit out of the pocket. I'm a little bit unusual. And that's probably why, despite everyone's best efforts, I'm not number one at the U.S. box office. Instead, people are going and watching Top Gun Maverick. When they could be seeing independent cinema. Like Morbius. You cried during Black Panther? Yeah, oh, oh I cried during Black Panther. Congrats. You haven't cried since you were eight. Which one of us is more fucked up? You? I don't think so. I cry all the time, man. I'm almost at the age where I'll like cry during a commercial, but I'm not quite there yet. The only one that got me close was um, back in 2021, like J February 2021, when companies started making those. See what we got through in 2020? <laughs> you did it! We made it! Now we're on the other side of all that stuff that was so bad last year. And there was like the Google ad where the couple had uh, their baby, but their parents were deaf. So they were talking to like their parents on Google Meet and they were like teaching their baby sign language to say like, I love you grandma or something like that. Even just describing that commercial. And I recognize that this is idiotic. Just describing that commercial almost brought a tear to my eye. Even though it's for the Alphabet Corporation. But the average commercial, no. The average commercial doesn't make me cry. I've probably got like five years. You're way more fucked, bro. I mean, if you didn't cry at the end of Big Fish, you're just emotionally dead inside, basically. If you don't cry when Ben Affleck goes to Matt Damon's front door in Goodwill Hunting, and Matt Damon isn't there, And the, the point is not like, oh, that's so sad. It's actually that it's kind of a happy moment because Matt Damon has recognized that, you know, Ben Affleck actually, even though he fed him some hard truth, he, has, he had his best interest in mind. Although I've been thinking a lot about Goodwill Hunting lately. Um, couldn't Matt Damon have just given him like a phone call? Or I get that it would have minimized, you would have pulled the punch cinematically. But couldn't he have called Ben Affleck and been like, Hey Ben, just so you fucking know, I'm gonna fucking go marry Minnie Driver in California. You know? Instead he just literally ghosts his best friend. They're like actually in love with one another. He couldn't have just left him a voicemail or something? I mean, I just imagine, like, Ben Affleck's character just right after that was like, well, uh, fuck, I didn't mean literally. His best friend wanted that? Yeah, no, he just wanted, he had to shock him in the system by having, like, a perfectly crafted own, okay? Use the trinket to reroll the treasure room? What are you talking about, man? I don't even know what game I'm playing right now.
I don't know what any of this shit does. I'm just tapping buttons. Listen, Jack. Dude, they should make a new Price is Right game. We gotta wait for Ubisoft stock price to dip. Then you know they're gonna come out with the guaranteed bangers. Do you cry at the Education Connection commercial? I don't I don't know what that is, unfortunately. But odds are, if it's like... Um, any commercial that involves parenting, it gets me close. I remember doing, like, Check the Wire when we had announced that, uh, you know, Kate was pregnant. And Dan was like, oh, I'm so excited for you. Like, you know, you're going to see, like, your life's going to change and stuff like that. And he was, like, tearing up just talking about the idea of, like, me having kids. And I was like, this guy's a baby. <laughs> this guy can't even keep it together when he's, like, he's talking about me having kids. It's pathetic. And now I completely understand. He was actually, he was just ahead of his time. He broke new ground. I did not cry at the Molson Canadian I Am Canadian commercials. Those came out when I was in like 8th grade. I went on like a, like a 10 year crying hiatus between seeing um, The Lion King in movie theaters as a young lad and seeing Big Fish in theaters with my mom as an older lad. Although I did squirt some when Kid Rock in um, in Joe Dirt says uh, to Joe Dirt when he's running away, do you want some Wham burgers and maybe some French fries? I was like, come on, Kid Rock, you don't have to do them dirty like that. Just because you're in love with Brandy, who we thought was his sister temporarily. Yeah, squirt some. Squirt some moisture out of my tear ducts. It's a perfectly cromulent way to describe crying. It's called lacrimation. Um, excuse me. I have nipples, Greg. Could you lacrimate me? I think you got your anatomy confused. This, I'm so wrong, but if everybody laughs, it'll be like I'm right. If we go, this guy thinks lacrimation means crying. LOL! <laughs> oh, oh, hey, we are, what, careful, careful. Uh, why don't you just go uh, lacrimate? LOL. Holy cow, your epidermis is so showing right now. Oh. Why, and I know this is well-trodden territory, which is why I'm going to describe this as an honest question before I play it for jokes a little later. Why don't they ever say what the drug treats in American pharmaceutical commercials? Like, why do they make you guess? Some of them, they'll do it for people living with, you know, type 2 diabetes. I don't know, maybe, actually, now that I think about it, maybe it's a Canadian thing. But we'll just have, like, no context ads for medicine. And it'll just be, like, a lady, she sips, like, a cup of tea, and then she looks outside and it's raining. And then they're like, try blah, 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 from GlaxoSmithKline. And then she takes the pill, and then she sips the tea, and she looks outside and it's sunny. And I'm like, I don't even know what this shit is, though. Like, is it illegal in Canada to say what the disease is? You're just supposed to go to your doctor and be like, Hey, I saw this ad for... Burp, 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 burp. And she's like, Oh, that's for anal fissures. And you're like, you know what? On second thought, I've decided I don't have that. So, never mind. Like, are you just supposed to know? Screw it, dude. I'm... He's Morbin. Consider yourself Morbed. Do not sack Alter. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always Morbin. 
It, uh, it's a vampire? We had to do something because... Oh, plus one damage up. Soul, give me the soul stone, please. Da guys? We had 3.5 damage on the womb one. So, like, I would rather die but run the risk of having a little fun. I don't get it, man. Don't even get me started on the gambling ads. Actors are not allowed to act like they have the disease if they don't have it in real life. Oh, unless you're Scarlett Johansson, because she can do anything. True, true. Dude, look at this. Oh, I forgot because we got Ghost Pepper or whatever. Plus our luck stat. Like, we're freaking creaming it right now. She can't make Black Widow a success. Can I tell you something? Okay, so I, I do not like the movie Black Widow. In fact, I would probably say, with the benefit of hindsight, and I did not like it when I saw it, but with the benefit of hindsight, I might even put it in, like, the bottom five Marvel movies. However... There's one very famous viral clip from the movie that always gets posted on Twitter as like a how did this make it through Marvel quality control? The CGI is so bad. And it's when Florence Pooh is, uh, she's standing next to a helicopter that then explodes. I must have seen the clip like 20 times. I... And I'm being completely sincere with you. I don't see what looks bad about it. Now, I recognize it must be bad because it gets posted a lot. I'm not saying society's wrong. I'm saying just to give you some idea of where my brain is always. <laughs> Like, I genuinely, when I look at it, I'm like, I don't understand why this is bad. We're taking them all, dude. Uh. I don't think society is wrong. I think I'm wrong, but I want someone from society to say why I'm wrong instead of just saying, oh, come on, quit faking it, and I gotta be like... Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks really bad. Show us the clip? No, I don't want to get sued into oblivion by Kevin Feige. My hero. It looks like a Power Rangers shot. Is that bad? The Power Rangers were, like, really popular. Maybe that's why I don't see it, because, like, I watch Power Rangers all the time growing up. So it just looks normal to me. I mean, to be honest with you, this jar is better, but we're never going to use it as long as our tears are so good. We might as well just snag this. Whew. Help me! Huge plays, holy cow. I'm insane with it. it. The lighting just looks weird. Well, like, just to, uh, again, give you some, like, feeling for, like, how my brain sees shapes. And I see things normally, okay? Like, I when I look at something... We're looking at the same image. Like, it's not like in my head it looks like a Rugrats crayon drawing or something like that. But, like, I was trying... I had to think for, like, 15 seconds. We have this, like, felt um, book. That for our daughter. Not for me, just to be clear. Because I've taken the test, and they, they, they said they've never seen someone get better results than this. The test was like person, car, camera, and I, they ask you to repeat it, and I said camera, person, car, and they said that's amazing. That's remarkable. Um, but, 
you, it's two bears sitting at a table and you use the felt to set the table. And I had to think for like 15 seconds about the right way to set a mug. I was like, because they're facing down. I was like, is the mug, do I put it right side up? Or if I was looking at them from like across the table from me, would the mug be pointed like this because of perspective? And then I was like putting it on the table and then I was like, and I was like, and then I was like, and then I was like, and then, was like, and then if, something in my brain, like the shapes, the shape shit in my brain was not wired properly. So anytime you're like, how is he like doing so badly at this? Just know that you're making fun of something that, like, I am embarrassed about and can't control, okay? Okay, well, I guess I'll take this real quick. <clears throat> Hold on, I was glancing too much at chat. Can you rotate objects in your mind? I can, but it actually, like, it, it takes some... Uh, concerted effort. Like, I can't... Words just come to me you know like when you're saying a sentence i don't i don't have i don't have to like think of what word comes next most of the time i ju it just kind of spills out for me and i choose which words not to say really when it comes to like if you ask me to um rotate a three-dimensional object in my head i would have to be like okay i'm gonna shut up for a second okay i'm gonna go back and take the urn <laughs> this is <laughs> this is not the way to play this Hello, Squeaks. Hello. Oh, Squeaks, just come to make fun of me for not being able to rotate shapes in my head that well? I The the best way to think about it, to, this is to earn lull. Oh, man. They did surgery on a Morbius. Can you believe this shit? I think, imagine, like, the way that I see shapes is, like, the way that the Super Mario 64 director works the camera. And then, does that give you some sympathy for me, at least? Which is why I'm so good at Super Mario 64. Oh! That's why I'm so good at Super Mario 64. Because that's just what, like, my life is like. My life is like, whoa. My kiss is like, whoa. My butt is like, whoa. Maya. You ever you listen to a lot of Maya lately? Just me? Did you guys see Brandy, Ether, Jack Harlow on that new freestyle diss track? Just me? No, I didn't. Did you know that Ray J is Brandy's brother? Just in case that comes up at pub trivia. Hold on. I just have to focus for a brief moment. That's what I was waiting for. Yes. Get the hell off of my plane. Saved, saved and worth. Based and worth it pilled. He's doing it. Look at this. What, like it's hard, dude? Great gaming. Okay. We got two lives left. Not big. Not big. Not big. It's absolutely horrendous, but maybe you could use the D1 to double the spirit heart at some point. The streamer room. Worst part is, those are like representative items of like the average uh, Isaac quality. No, they're not. Shut up. Yes, they are. Fucking, if you don't get yourself off of this fucking Kaiba crystal mine, I'll fucking freeze and carbonite myself. Okay, now, you gotta try. <laughs> Chandler. Chandler. Rick. Jesse. Jesse, did you remember to put the good items back in Isaac? 
Uh, yeah, Mr. White. I got all the shot speed ups in there. Jesse! Jesse! Shot speed ups don't meaningfully actually improve your ability to succeed! I gotta watch Breaking Bad again, man. Does that show any good? Okay, it's a good item. No, no, no. Okay, you're just like liars. Like, better Call Saul can be better. Hey, this is actually pretty sick. Better Call Saul can be better. Breaking Bad's still freaking sweet, dude. We're getting a chest on every room. This is this is unbelievable. I feel like Captain Phasma. What? They nerfed the D1? It doesn't do what it's supposed to do anymore? That's pretty cool. Yeah, they nerfed it a long time ago. Why is, like, all of the, um, the nerfs are always, like, hey, we made a good item, uh, totally dog shit unusable, and then the buffs are, like, we made a dog shit unusable item slightly less unusable, but you would still never take it. It's not a nerf. It's a side grade. Then why did, why did they change it, then? If it's not a nerf, then why did they change it, Jesse? Cool. Very cool and very legal. They have to keep the balance competitive for multiplayer. I suppose that in many ways that's true. Okay. <clears throat> okay, sure. Indeed. I, we're gonna win regardless, so that's pretty cool, and now I seem like the baby for complaining. But like, we barely won this run. Like, it was kind of just me going sicko mode that made it happen.